Hi everybody, you made it, you made it to the final paper. So I know it seems like it's still kind of early, but um, I make the biggest paper, the one that takes the most amount of work right in the middle. And so I make the smallest paper um, come toward the end a little bit. You'll have a couple Moodle posts, you'll have more Moodle posts. Um, Thanksgiving week, I, you won't have anything to do at all um, unless you wanna work on your group work. But this is also, um, an assignment that causes people some stress a little bit because <clears throat> I am required to give you a group project that you do together for a community grade. Um, so this is that paper, but I do, I do know how stressful it is to put your grade and your information in other people's hands. So I've made it worth the least amount of points. So you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, but you can kind of control it along the way as you go too. So I had Moodle randomize the groups. So Moodle chose your group for you. There's a group of four. Um, if it was an odd number, like we ended up and there was, you know, 19 students, then there might be one group um, that doesn't have four in it. But that's fine. You'll get the list of names. Um, and you should read through the rubric today. I'm going to go over it really briefly, um, but take a look at at it and um, you know I'll, you can connect with your group I do have on the rubric that you should synchronously meet this week at some point sooner rather than later because everybody's schedule is so busy and I know it can be very difficult to get everybody together at the same time so you should just put three or four different days and times out there and say whatever one that most people can do and then everybody log in it shouldn't take longer than three, four minutes, five minutes at the most, to decide on a topic and kind of talk about who wants to do what um, and get a Google Doc set up. So one of you will set up a Google Doc and send the email to the other people. Um, so you, one person has to post the topic for approval by Sunday. You can post it anytime this week once you guys decide. Um, I listed all kinds of topics in the rubric, um, ones that other people have written. That doesn't mean you have to write about them. I just wanted to give you an idea of what I was talking about. Um, each person, each person in this class must post a, um, a, a research source. Uh, it does not have to be scholarly this time, so it can be popular. You can just Google, you know, the cost of something, or you can use the Oakland Post, which is OU's um, newspaper, and look up things in the past that maybe they've had topics about. So any of that is fine. You just have to make sure that your topic is about something that um, happens at OU, something that occurs at OU, it's a problem in the Oakland University community. So um, OU requires this because it's called, I mean, it's called community living and community service and it gives you a little better understanding about your school, it gives you some control over things that you can um, make changes with and people have. Um, we added the whole second floor to the uh, OC over one of these papers. Um, we have added certain social and entertainment things. We've changed some things in the bookstore. So as you're um, thinking of these ideas, I mean, certainly think of something that you really care about. It could be class related. It could be classroom related. It could be something to do with the online classes, since this is kind of a crazy transition we've had to go through. Um, but agree on something together. I gave you a bunch of suggestions, ideas, things that people have used in the past. I give you an example of one, how it would look organized. And I've also posted a student example from a group, the group uh, last fall. So basically, you're going to choose a topic. That'll be your first thing. You're going to choose what you want to write about. And then you have to decide um, who would be a good person to interview at OU. And it can definitely be by email. You can send them an email um, asking them the questions and we'll be really setting up the questions next week like we did before with um, your uh, your career document paper, which I'm grading. Um, it does have to be MLA. It is an argument paper. You do have to conduct a survey, 10 questions, five people. Um, asking them things about your topic. So you'll kind of see once you get a look at it um, what I'm talking about. Sometimes people say, okay, you, you know, 
Joseph, you handle the survey, get that information and post it online. I want you to put the survey in all the points. I'll outline what our argument should look like. Um, you know, Sarah, you can put in, do the interview, or maybe everybody does it together. Maybe you work on it and you make your interview questions all together. Um, and then you'll be kind of co-writing it. So you'll start writing um, the argument and you'll be kind of filling in different points as you go. So this Sunday, you'll have to each turn in a source, and you don't have to use all four of the sources in the paper, but you can, and you'll have to use at least two of them. But either way, each person must post a source of their own about the topic at hand. So you should do some research. You can help each other out. Again, you can use all four sources. You may need to, or you might just end up saying, look, these two are the only ones that really make sense in our paper. It's going to be... Um, more confusing to you until you look at the rubric and get a look through it. So the two things to remember is you need to post your uh, topic so I can improve it and you need to post your sources for that topic uh, by this Sunday and have a group meeting. The group meeting I'll know, not know about you know unless somebody in your class in your group contacts me and says you know no one would get together um, I'm not sure what to do and then I'll get involved so um, I hope everything's going okay. You are doing it. You're almost done. This is for this class, the final push. We don't have a final exam. You'll have things to do online. And your final class, um, your final week, you'll be able to rewrite paper one or two if you um, want to make that change. And if you're happy with what you got, then you're done. So don't stress out. Um, I'm here to help you. We'll have a, a group rough draft meeting um, before you post the final so I can kind of get a feel for uh, how everybody's doing. But I hope you're all well. Email me if you have questions or, or real problems. Um, and I can't wait to see what topics you come up with. All right, talk to you soon.